The food crop industry in Ghana has contributed immensely to the economic development of Ghana over the years. In the last two decades, Ghana has developed a considerable food industry that exports assorted foods to various countries across the world. Two of the major Ghanaian food crops that have received international recognition include mangoes and pineapples. So my name is Frederick Kobina Aqua. I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Ekonfi Fruits and Juices Limited. Currently, we are working on uh, a 5,000 acre land um, dotted in five communities in the Kumfi district. At the Kumfi, we grow all the three varieties, although um, we're now concentrating more on, on two. So the three being uh, MD2, Smooth Kayan, and then what we know as the Abrobe of Ghana, that's the uh, Sugarloaf. I'm Sejangma. The name of my farm is uh, Canaan Farms. We produce mango. We have 22 acres of mango presently. It is estimated that Ghana cultivated 109,480 hectares of mango in 2015. However, the figure declined to 80,920 hectares in 2019. The two main varieties of mango cultivated by farmers in parts of Greater Accra, Eastern and Volta cluster of Ghana are Kate and Kent. There are more than 400 farmers who cultivate approximately 10,500 acres of mango in a season. Production is made up of 80% Kate, 10% Kent, and 10% of other varieties such as Palmer, Tommy Atkins, Zill, etc. We are looking into increasing production to about 8 tons per acre. We are now at an average of about 2.5 to 3 tons per acre. Some of them are in a position to apply and do the right agronomical practices and have an average of five tons per acre. In 2018, the world pineapple market was estimated at 2.1 billion US dollars, with pineapple being considered as one of the most important non-traditional agricultural export commodities in terms of volume and value in Ghana. Between 2005 and 2014, pineapple production in Ghana covered approximately 10,000 hectares of land area which cultivated various types of pineapples, which include smooth cayenne, MD2, sugar loaf, queen, among others. My name is Edmond Apia, manager of Ohu Farms Company Limited. Uh, initially, the land was acquired to produce spices. But when we got here and then heard the story about how pineapple was booming in the past, we decided to switch back to pineapple so we can also provide jobs for the youth in the community. We've been doing pineapple production for our five years now. And we harvest roughly 960 tons all year round. And then eventually we started exporting to France and then Emirates. Later on, Blue Skies came in, Boma came in, and then HPW also came. So that's how far we've come. So in terms of opportunities in the pineapple value chain, I would be more biased towards a kumfi because of the kind of needs that we have. We are a, a fruit juice processing company. We mix uh, pineapple with other fruits to have our mixes. So, I mean, the opportunities that exist per our, our, our scheme is that um, we need more of the fruits. So there's a, there's a huge opportunity in terms of um, um, growing pineapples, for example, because our processing, a machine takes uh, 10 tons, it works on 10 tons per hour. And for 10 tons, I'm talking about um, 10,000 fruits. Okay, and that's, that's about half of an acre of, uh, of pineapple. So if we are doing a full haul production, you know how much it takes. So there's so much uh, opportunity in that, in that field to grow pineapples for, for a kumfi to meet our, our demand. Enormous opportunities in the pineapple value chain. That is when you do it and then do it well. Meet the international standards and then have all your certifications in place. You can always find market for your product. We have taken the opportunity and so we are coming out with um, new products by January. That is our jam, Ohu Jam. And we are doing four varieties. We are doing the pineapple, pineapple with ginger, pineapple with bisap and then pineapple with passion. Opportunities abound in the mango industry, especially when the issue of uh, harvesting comes in play, uh, quality checks come in play, transportation come in play, packaging comes in play. So you have a wide range of 
industry involved in the value mango chain? Investments will bring in a lot of more opportunities for us. For example, I mean, we'll be able to enroll more people. That means expand our, our farm base. Let's say if I'm doing 100 acres or 200 acres, that means I will be able to take more like farm hands to be working with me. That means bringing in employment in acquiring equipments too. Let's say we have a tractor and uh, we are using it to wait. Within a, a day or two, you can have it done. But if you are using like 10 people or even like, the human factor is also there. I mean, they can even move themselves. And, and it will also uh, extend the time that you can do it. If, if a tractor can do this, let's say, in a day or two, you have more time to do other activities. Our mangoes, we have, in terms of taste and color, I mean, the internal coloration of the fruit. We usually get it right, and they are, our mangoes are sweeter. I mean, people that have, have attended, um, um, let's say, full logistica and other trade fairs and trade shows, and they have access to like tasting other fruits from other um, crop growing zones. They they attest to it, and usually at our stands, people rushing in queues to pick our mangoes to eat. That shows that, I mean, we are doing something quick, we are able to harness it, it will really sell well.